Hey, I'm Pauline, and today I'm going to be talking about Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. Dorothy Must Die is, if you can't tell by the title and cover, a sort of retelling and reimagining of the Wizard of Oz story, where basically Dorothy comes back and sort of takes over and becomes this tyrant. And the story revolves around the main character, Amy Gum, who's also from Kansas, who gets swept up in a tornado and ends up in Oz and is suddenly sort of the one who has been appointed to save everyone from Dorothy. And on the back it explains, and I'm just going to read this, it says, You must remove the Tin Man's heart, steal the Scarecrow's brain, take the Lion's courage, and then Dorothy must die. I have been so excited for this book. Oh my gosh, ever since I heard about it before it came out, I was super excited about it. I finally got it. So overall I gave this book four stars. I really, really enjoyed it. It was exciting. I think it definitely lived up to its potential. I was kind of worried. I was thinking, because it has mixed reviews, and I guess there's sort of a controversy about it. Um, not about the book, but about um, the book packaging company that it's associated with. I'm not really going to go into that because I feel like the story, the book is more important than talking about that, so I'm just going to talk about the book. But anyways, I think that's one of the reasons why it had kind of a lot of mixed reviews, but overall I really, really liked it. Um, I think the writing was really well done. It's sort of like this quirky, sort of weird world, but it's also very dark at the same time, which I liked. I liked the blending of both of those things because um, it was very unique how she did that. Um, also, I just, I just love the overall story. I just love the idea of an evil Dorothy and just a retelling of The Wizard of Oz. It's totally awesome. It kept my interest the entire story. Basically I was drawn in from the first part and then a lot of people say that the middle is really boring. I wasn't bored by the middle. I was pulled in on that as well. So I just kept reading and I read like a bunch of it in like one sitting. I sat down, like a big huge chunk of it and just finished that in like one sitting. But yeah, it was really good. Another thing I really liked was the portrayal of all of the characters, sort of like the basic characters that you know from The Wizard of Oz. I really liked how Dorothy was done. I thought that was really interesting. I felt like it was good, um, she was still kind of the Dorothy that, like, we know, but at the same time twisted in a way that wasn't too weird. I liked that. And I liked, you know, how the Scarecrow and the Tin Man and the Lion were done. Um, I also really liked the witches that Amy sort of joins, I guess, in order to fight Dorothy. Um, I forget which one. One of them is like, you know, the Witch of the North or whatever. I think it's Gert. <laughs> it's one of them. <laughs> but I liked that. I liked that they brought the Witch of the North in. I liked the side characters. I felt like all of the characters were... Um, well developed even though there's a lot that are only in there for like a few chapters like there's a lot of characters that just kind of come and go but I feel like I understand them in the short time that they're there and that, I feel like that's just really well done that just shows good writing some of the things I didn't like I didn't really love Amy Amy gum as a character she was just a little bit irritating I'm not sure why <laughs> I mean like I, I can't put my finger on what it was exactly that bugged me about her, but I just didn't love her as a character. I, I guess I didn't really connect with her very much. She's very sarcastic and kind of snarky and I, I don't know, I just didn't really connect with her character very well, but at the same time like I did understand her. I think her character was done well, I just didn't really like her as a person all that much. Um, but she was she was done well as a character, I'll admit. Another thing that I didn't like, and is basically the main reason this book is four stars and not five stars, is that I didn't know it was going to be a series, okay? I didn't know it was going to be a series. And I'm just so sick of series right now. I just want to read standalones. I'm so tired of getting one book and reading it and then having to get the others to figure out what happens. I just want to buy one book and have a complete story. And I'm annoyed that... I got, like, to hear and I was like things were not happening the way they should have been happening for the story to end in you know that much room and I'm like oh gosh it's a series so I don't know I guess I'll read the others I just wanted like one book one book as for thematic elements there's nothing sexual at all in the book like anything to worry about uh, there is some language, some f-bombs or drops, um, 
And there's some, it's not like super graphic gore, but there's like some kind of gross stuff. <laughs> like people are dying and everything. So I mean, but it's not like, I, I mean, no, none of that really bothered me too much. So I wouldn't really worry about it. And okay, I'm gonna go into some spoilery stuff. So if you haven't read this, I recommend this. Go read it, because I really, really did like it. Um, but if you haven't read it, go, go away. Sorry, come back when you've read it. <laughs> um, okay, one of the other, one of the other things that really bugged me, and one of the reasons it's not five stars, is that Dorothy doesn't die. <laughs> it's the title of the book. I was expecting Dorothy to die, and she didn't. I mean, it's a little bummed. <laughs> I wanted Amy to just take Dorothy out and she didn't. Dorothy got away and it's just kind of like annoying. <laughs> and then there's so much more that has to happen according to this little timeline. Like, you know, remove the Tin Woodman's heart. Okay, she did that. She killed him. He's gone. But there's still steal the Scarecrow's brain, take the lion's courage, and then kill Dorothy. And that's three major tasks that have yet to be accomplished. And this book is big. It's a big book. I, I mean, I'm just surprised more didn't happen. I mean, I was entertained. I just wish it had all been summed up in one book. I guess I'm just really hung up on the fact that it's a series and now I gotta read the others. I don't know. I just feel like authors nowadays sort of write series just for the sake of writing series because trilogies are kind of the big thing right now. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I do recommend this book though. I really liked it. I really did. I'm glad I picked it up. I'm really glad I picked this up. So yeah, overall, four stars to Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. And I do recommend this. I really, really liked it. And I'm glad I picked it up. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.